Now, speaking of fun old things, you got to see the debate tonight, I assume. You getting ready to vote for Ted Cruz? Uh, Pull the plug be. on him if he says yes. <laughs> you got to be kidding me. Can you believe this stuff? It's unbelievable. Hey, let, me ask, hey, let me ask you this, uh, uh, Jeffy. Yeah. Do you watch the, uh, the uh, Wide World of Wrestling? No, I don't watch that or the Wide hey, okay. World of Wrestling. Well, well, okay, you don't. Now, why? <laughs> because it's rigged, right? It's rigged, and I don't like sweaty men. It's not my go. thing. Well, same reason I don't vote. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's very good. Marco Rubio sweats a lot, I guess, and apparently Trump is on him about that. Called him a choke artist, too, tonight. And Cruz called, it, called him a liar again. All well and good. Nothing like the truth. Well, Cruz is a Canadian. Yes, he, until he renounced his citizenship. Now he's a man of no country. Well, I know, but I know, I, but that sounds like that sounds like Hillary, who was from Arkansas and moved to Washington, you know, with her yeah. husband, and then suddenly and, gets to be senator from New York, as if she knows anything about New York. It's that New York it's accent all, that gave her rigged. away. It's all rigged. All and, of it. Uh, all of it. All of it. Uh, all of it. They they got you with the computer machines. Yeah. No no vote counting, no paper ballots, no poll watchers. And then they got the, the polls by the TV guys who they slant those. So, and then they start broadcasting the winner on the East Coast of the West well, Coast. Well, that's the voter vote news for. service, VNS. You know, yeah. it's, it's just, I mean, it's just, it's just not. Uh, It'd just be so laughable weird. if it wasn't so tragic. It really would. And we used to laugh at the so Russians in the Soviet Union because, that you know, when they'd vote for president, they only had one candidate. You know, you either vote for the guy or you don't. And we used to laugh at them, and now we get Tweedledee or Tweedledum, and they both run by the same globalists. So, you know, what's the diff? I, don't ask me. It's, uh, I'll tell so you, though. I pay attention to these guys mouthing yeah. off at each other. Well, I think uh, in Speaking this of case. Rubio, I mean, we've already got one homosexual in the White House. Why do we need another one? Well, and Hillary qualifies, too. Oh, exactly. She's right up there. Yeah. It's just, it's Remember just what amazing. Bill said? Yeah, Hillary's had more women than I have. Uh, you know what the thing is? It sounds like some kind of gross joke, but uh, uh, if you actually pay attention to the whistleblowers and the people who know what they're talking about, apparently that's quite true. Yeah. But the, and the th but the thing here's the whole thing. It's like Obama, you know, and it's like it, it, I don't care about their sex or orientation. You know, if they want no matter to me, I, as long as they bring I, it out and. Yeah, as long as they it. say, I'm gay and I'm running for president. Yeah. Okay, fine, that's all right. I can go for that. I, I, I'm not homophobic. But, hey, I do not like liars, okay? I can't stand them. If, no. if somebody rounds me, you fool me once, shame on you. you fool me twice, shame on me. Fool me three times, I'm not going to have anything to do with you. And, boy, these people, they yeah. have to, they lie sometimes when it would probably be better just to tell the truth. Well, here's and another. Can, hey, hey, have you mm. thought about this, Jeff? Yeah. Edward Snowden releases classified information. Mm -hmm. They want him extradited and, and executed. Executed. Uh, Hillary Clinton releases classified information, and yeah. she's still running for president. Yeah, and you, when's the last time you heard the word indictment in the media? No, 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 no. Can't do three, that. Three, three weeks? Two, three weeks? Yeah. Easy. Yeah. It's gone. It's vanished. It's gone. Well, it's the same way with the... Secret society down at the uh, down at the ranch down in Texas, where the Supreme Court judge was found. Hey, that's uh, supposed to be a rent boy ranch, right? Yep, exactly. And the thing is, that ties into the really oh, yeah. high level yeah. pedophilia ring, yep, yep, yep. which I hesitate to mention because I'll end up dead next. Yeah. And if you mention it, you'll end up dead too. Because you know, if you'll remember, last year it broke open and in the UK for a little while, and they yeah. were tracking this pedophilia ring yeah. all the way up to some of the highest level power uh, to the in highest in Britain, the, the highest. and then they were saying, and it reaches over into North America too, mm -hmm. into the United States, and then it's all just kind of died away, and we're not going to talk about that anymore. Nope. And I'll tell you something, all you got to do is go uh, go read the Franklin scandal, and you'll see how big that goes. And I had him on the is. program uh, a couple of times. Camp. Yeah. Camp. Yeah. Just amazing stuff. 
I and, know. You know, we know. use and the term. Nobody will touch it. That's how high it goes. Oh no, no way. No, people don't want to die. That's that's the bottom line. We'll kill that's you right. if you talk about it. It's, and uh, and this thing re is so bad, so so ugly. The the public would actually it would just come unglued. There would be a revolution. There really would if people understood what some of the people in the highest levels of power are actually doing. Okay, I mean, all right. Robbing us through taxes, that's, yeah, yeah, we all know that, okay. Stealing uh, the mineral rights of public lands and selling it for millions of dollars, yeah, well, okay, we, you know, that, that corruption's gone on forever. Everybody put up right. with that. But you start right. talking about the children and the abuse and the sexual abuse of these kids. Oh, it ruined people for life, would, and people, a lot of those kids are... Would, yeah, they, 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 we'd have a revolution, and that's why yeah. they will kill to stop that from coming out. By the way, speaking of killing, a lot of those kids, the rent boys, uh, they're taken out and killed. Uh, they, oh, yeah. They're just gone. Yeah. Well, because you've got too many of them running around now who yeah. are coming to their senses as they get yeah. older and start yeah. and are starting to talk about it. Yeah, it's, it's really unfortunate that there's no real news media in this country anymore. Well, it's, a, it's an obscenity. They're, they're whores. Uh, they have quaint little terms for them, prostitutes and all that, but yeah. they are just scum. They're the no, worst. When I, first, when I first heard about the death of uh, Scalia, uh, I thought, uh-huh, they bumped him off because it's so, it is so beneficial to the people who are trying to wreck this country because he's been, you know, there have been so many 5-4 decisions, and he's the fifth guy. Okay, he's the one who has stood up for the Constitution. That's right. Not all the time, and he's no wonder kid. But at least he has stood up for the Constitution. And now with him out of the way, uh, you know, you can, you know Obama's licking his lips thinking he's going to be able to pack the Supreme Court and off we go into a socialist worker's paradise. Yeah. And uh, we've had it. That's the end of that. Yeah. And there doesn't even seem to be a lot of opposition coming from the Republicans. But anyway, no. so no. I thought, man, you know, they probably offed him. But I'll tell you, I've been looking at it very closely. You've been a crime reporter? Come on. Yeah. No, no, no. Now, now, here's the thing. If, if somebody had mur they, you know, the easiest murder in the whole world is to smother somebody. Uh, the, the homicide detectives told me this years ago, uh, if you, all, you t all it takes is willpower. If you'll put a pillow over somebody's head and smother them, then, uh, you know, then the, they do an autopsy. You're not going to find anything. They're going to rule it a heart attack because there's nothing else to say. They don't know anything else. But also, though, when you smother somebody, chances are they're going to struggle. So there probably should be a messed up bed. Okay, well, they said the bed was perfectly made up, sheets up to his Perfect. neck, everything's fine. <laughs> like he was and laid out in state already. Could be, but I'm, I'm willing to say that con considering his age, condition, the fact he smokes cigars, the fact he's probably out there <laughs> he getting it on with <laughs> young boys or whatever, you know, and, you know, yeah, okay, he probably did truly have a heart attack, and it probably may have may have been a, a natural death. The problem was it's in the right, rental boy ranch, and they right, had this, to put yeah. the clamps on that to right. keep everybody from digging in. If there's an autopsy, then right. they're going to bring in, and they're going to be uh, yep. uh, court, yep. court documents yep. and yep. official documents to tell what, who was really there and what they were really doing, and they couldn't have that. I, I, think, feel that's yeah. I think that's why they're covering it up. I, I wouldn't be surprised at all. Uh, and that also explains why, according to the officials, they they claim that his family insisted on no autopsy, and which sounds strange to me. If one of my loved ones died off somewhere, wait a minute autopsy. now. Now it's the family. I thought well, it was that's the, what they're saying. You know, uh, who knows? Number one, the family could be intimidated. You know, easy. you and I, I I'm hesitant to talk about yeah. this because they'll come kill you if you if you reach enough people and you know, enough people listen to you. Sure. But so there's always that. But then there's also the fact the family knows what he was into and they don't want that out. So they're perfectly go right along with it. No autopsy. But it sure seems strange to me that a guy is out of his home state and and that much po politics involved come on. and that much. You know, going That's on. That's a no-brainer. No you know, he, he's get, uh -huh. his death certificate's taken over the phone. They phoned it in. You know, it's a phoner. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's a no-brainer. It's a, <laughs> really? you autopsy without fail. Period. Right. And anyway, they drove him. To, there was some local uh, coroner's office they could have used. And instead, they 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 drove him forty-five minutes to another one. There was obviously control at the other one. 
Uh, I, yeah. I, I I do think this was a plan. Well, they, they wanted set they up. wanted to take it away from the local uh, coroner and, right. and put it in the under the federal marshal, who of course they're feds yeah. and yep. they're under yep. the thumb of the federal government. They'll do whatever yeah. their superiors tell them to do. I I, I do think he was. Same uh, thing happened to Kennedy, right? Yeah. He, he was not given a uh, coroner's hearing in Dallas because they took him illegally out of Texas. Mm-hmm. Say <laughs> it's just the same old stuff goes on and on. I don't know. Nobody seems to care, so I don't know why you and I holler about it. No, I'm not hollering that much. <laughs> All right. Uh, so creepy liar Cruz yesterday was behind in Texas. Today, one poll pops out and says he's ahead, thirty-eight to twenty-four over Trump. <laughs> How we we, we believe hey, that, of hey, course. Whoa, yeah. whoa, whoa. hey, don't. You, you know, polls are like statistics, right? Did you know that 78.9% of all statistics are just made up off the top of their head? Is that right? Yeah. That's right. Yeah, and I know surprised. that. I can prove that because I just made that up. <laughs> That's good. See? You haven't <laughs> lost a thing. That's good. No, no. So, Very you know, good. Hey, you pay me enough money, I'll go find you enough people that'll say, I can, you know, I'll go interview 10 people that I handpick, mm-hmm. and I guarantee you, 90% of them will say, I'm all for Hillary Clinton. <laughs> so, yeah. you know, what's a poll? It's, 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 it's really ridiculous. I don't, uh, I don't. Polls can be jimmied so easy. I took a course in college on polling, okay, and participated in Notice polls. how he used his own name there, jimmied. <laughs> <laughs> That's, <good>. That's right. <laughs> and it's amazing how that, by how you style the question and who you talk to. Oh, how you can you skew it so them, easily. You know, you can yeah. skew a poll any way you want to. It's really easy. Yep. You know, well, okay. Did you see the guys on YouTube, I think? The guy went out to, uh, uh, went to one of the universities, uh, what was it, Yale maybe, or Harvard. Maybe it's mm-hmm. Harvard. And interview the students on the thing, and, and you know the, the vast majority of them said, "Yeah, let's do away with the uh, First Amendment because we we don't like hate crimes." Mm-hmm. You know, but they are they that dumb? Probably, but the main thing is, is it it just wasn't presented in the way it was presented to them. They said, "Hey, uh, I'm sure you don't like hate crime." Oh no, we don't. Well, then we probably ought to repeal the First Amendment. Don't you think? Well, yeah, yeah, we should. They, they don't stop and think; they just react. You know, but then that shows, I don't know, that number one, that shows what the level of thinking is on the college campuses today. And number two, that shows how easy it is to fudge a poll. I'm sure, see, if you'd taken those same students and said, don't you think we should keep the First Amendment, which guarantees us freedom of speech, assembly, and religion, they'd all gone, yes, of course. See, see how yeah, easy sure. it is yeah, to yeah, skew yeah. something. Yeah, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so you're voting. Uh, you're voting in the primary, I assume, or did you already mail your ballot in like DB did? No, I'm waiting so I can go up and see some of my neighbors. What do you it's mean, not see bad somebody here in the rural county. I oh, you voted, you voted somebody's house. <laughs> well, no, actually, I think it's... Firehouse? It? They moved it. It used to be in an old church. Uh uh-huh. But they moved it now. I think it's in some kind of a, a community center across from the elementary school. Huh. I like but the anyway, old church. Yeah, you go idea, up there right? in the middle of the day, and there's never anybody around. You, mm-hmm. you don't have to stand in line. You just you walk can, in. You can vote often that way. You know, right? socialize a little bit and then vote and leave. You can vote often that way. That's right. Right. Vote often. Vote or early. Vote it, often. W.C. Fields said, "Cast a vote for me and watch for the silver lining." Cast two votes for me and watch for the cops. <laughs> Except that was back in the days of the Republic when you could really get in trouble for That's voting funny. twice. But yeah. t- today, you know. Uh, did you, you did you read the book uh, Vote Scam by the Colliers? Oh, that was, yeah. Oh, yeah. What a landmark I, 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 I book. I talked to one of those guys. I used and, to have and, one of those guys on the program a lot. Yeah, yeah, and that, you know, that almost started to hit the public consciousness, and then, the, of course, your establishment media just goes, oh, and they put thumbs down, and nobody right. got to hear as much, and it died away. It's a great story, really well done. But they had they had it nailed, and the thing is, oh, you yeah. could do and Those are paper today. ballots, too. Yeah, if you had somebody with the money and the wherewithal to send poll watchers to certain critical uh, 
precincts. Yeah. You could probably prove all this up just overnight. But, of course, the problem is anybody that's got that kind of money to hire that many people to travel that distance around the country to go to those different things, they're all tied in one way or another. They owe the banks or they owe the corporations or they are the corporations and or they own a lot of stock, and they're not going to stick their neck out to uh, try to see that we get a fair vote. And oh, there is no news media. And the government, of course, is full of scoundrels and corrupt politicians. They don't want to change anything. And why anybody listen to the Republicans or the Democrats, I have no idea, because neither one of those parties wants to change the system. They just want to be in charge of the system. Well, I guess Trump is talking about building a, quote, new Republican Party. I like what he said about himself. He said he was a common-sense conservative. Simple. Yeah. But that yeah. kind of phrase can work. It's uh, That's true. That's common true. sense conservatism. And I, uh, let's make America That's great again. That's what seems to be really, well, no, wait a minute, let me back up. Apparently, from appearances, there's a lack of common sense in this country. Okay. Common just sense like, died just along like with the kicking a kid out of school because yeah. he points his finger like a gun, you know. Of course, common sense he, he and accountability. or anything. Uh, common sense, accountability, some sort of reasoning, okay? It seems that we're lacking that in this country today, but I'm here to tell you, I, for one, don't buy that. I think that the, the average Joe in America has pretty good common sense. The reason it doesn't appear to be uh, prevalent in our society is because our leaders have different agendas than what they say. They are hypocrites. And they, they, what they, they say one thing, but they mean something else. They all get up and talk about protecting the borders, but they don't do it. Well, what they talk about peace, yeah. but they wage war. And that's why it seems like that there's no common sense or reason in our country anymore. Yeah. 